So you've got your new NFT idea ready to mint. The media, a name, some metadata, but then you're faced with a choice, Ethereum or Polygon. In this video, we'll explore some of the trade-offs of Ethereum and Polygon so you can make an informed decision for your next NFT. But first, what are Ethereum and Polygon? Ethereum is a popular blockchain largely known for its cryptocurrency ETH and its ability to support NFTs. Polygon is an extension of Ethereum that allows it to scale by leveraging new algorithms and other chains alongside Ethereum. Watch this video if you want to learn more about what NFTs are. To compare Ethereum with Polygon, we're going to be going over a few different categories and seeing how each blockchain stacks up. The first category we'll talk about is availability. As a creator and seller of NFTs, you want to make sure that your NFT is as available as possible. Ethereum is currently available in most large NFT marketplaces, so places like OpenSea, Rarible, Nifty Gateway, just to name a few. Polygon is newer to the space, so it's still not available in all marketplaces, but it is quickly being adopted to some of the major ones, like OpenSea and Rarible, with more to come soon. But the availability bucket will give Ethereum a little bit of an edge. The next thing we're going to be looking at is cost. Trading and selling NFTs, you really need to pay attention to the cost of gas fees. Gas fees is how things actually are added to the blockchain which means these fees will be added onto any transactions you have, whether that's creating an NFT or selling or transferring them. Right now, the cost to mint a new NFT on Ethereum is about 0.017 F, which is about equal to $63 USD. That's a lot for a single NFT, and you have to remember that this will also be applied to any kind of sales or transactions that will occur as well. Now, due to Polygon's increased scalability over Ethereum, a lot of these major services and marketplaces are actually waiving all fees, and so it's absolutely free to create and sell your NFTs on Polygon. Because Ethereum is just so expensive right now, and Polygon is almost free in almost all cases, we're going to give Polygon the edge. The next category we're going to look at is the environment. Often the reason for these really sky-high Gas fees is the amount of energy required to actually run a transaction. Legacy proof-of-work blockchains like Ethereum and Bitcoin require massive amounts of energy in order to function, which makes these blockchains really terrible choices for the environment. I've talked previously about how we can help fight climate change by making good technology decisions. Choosing an environmentally friendly blockchain is a great example of this. So on Ethereum, the average transaction costs 229 kilowatt hours. This is approximately equal to the amount of power required to power an average US home for 7.7 .7 days. And that's just for one transaction. Polygon, which runs a superior algorithm and leverages a lot of different scaling techniques, is around 40,000 times more energy efficient than Ethereum. So for the environment bucket, I say that Polygon wins out completely, and that choosing Ethereum is actually a negative for the environment. Now on to OpenSea. So this won't apply to all marketplaces, but if you're like me and you chose OpenSea as a, the place to sell your NFTs, then you should know that there's some major trade-offs when choosing Polygon versus Ethereum. But if you choose Ethereum as the backing blockchain on OpenSea, you still have to pay those gas fees, which remember, come out to about $63 per NFT transaction. And you're limited in that you can only create NFTs with a single copy. However, if you choose Polygon as the backing block, you get way better support. For one, the fees are free. They're completely waived by OpenSea. And two, this allows you to create NFTs with multiple copies. Thus, if you're on OpenSea, Polygon again takes the edge. For me, I've decided to choose Polygon as my blockchain of choice for creating NFTs. Let me know in the comments which one you decided. Watch this video to learn how to create your own NFT, no code required.